It is a dream. I have seen it. <laughs> now I need to <laughs> not dreaming, I have to do it. For Team Audi Sport, the last three years at the Dakar Rally have been a pioneering journey. We've seen a team dedicated to pushing the boundaries of what is possible at one of the world's toughest races. This step echoes the ethos of Vorsprung durch Technik from Quattro right to their new steps into electrification. This is Dakar 2024. The last few days were very intense ones. I'm quite happy and very proud of that team. We stay humble and stay very focused. Stage number six with the 48 chrono stage is one of the toughest stages that have ever been in the Rally Dakar. 550 kilometers split over two days with no team support for the drivers while they stayed in the middle of the dunes. The nature you see there you won't see anywhere else on the planet. One of the most beautiful stages I have ever done in my life in Dakar. Tomorrow will be the biggest day of the rally for me to survive this in the dunes. If we want to be on the same time, we need to take a risk. Every kilometer in the Dakar can be a trap. You can push a lot, you can gain a lot, but at the same time, this rally will catch you if you are going over the certain limits. The car is really strong, strong, but sometimes not enough. Oh, problems for Stefan Petthansel. Let's hope they can get that changed fast. We had a loose tire on the rims, so it was necessary to stop. And when we wanted to move up the car, the hydraulic jack uh, broke and it started to be complicated. For sure that it was the end of uh, the dream of victory. Of course it was very hard to lose Stefan at that point. But we were still very much in the race with both drivers pushing at the front. At that time, you can only start the stage and go, go, go. Matthias Ekstrom seemed to be unstoppable this year. Week one over, Carlos Sainz at the top of the standings. There's a long way to go though, and the competition will not make this easy. We catch up 25 minutes, so it was really good. Very demanding, very positive, and yeah, happy with the strategy, happy with the result. The top three guys uh, now, it's Carlos, myself and Sebastian Loeb. I really hope that we can have a, a fair fight from now to the end and uh, may the best one win. The day after the rest day, so stage number seven, it was a very hard and very tough day for the Audi Sport team. One of the hopes we had uh, was kind of uh, destroyed at that day. After a few minutes, we saw we already caught Carlos. And then he would say, ah, you will pass him. I said, no, no, stay calm, just wait. I think it took probably a few seconds, and he said, did you hear that? And I'm like, oh, this clack clack, yeah. Wow, this looks very serious. This is certainly gonna take some time to fix. And minute by minute, I realized we'd all the tools and skills I have, I were not able, and that's the moment when the frustration kicks in. 
Yeah, it is being uh, really hard for us, um, especially when you have so high expectations. It was it was very hard for the team, very hard for Matthias. I was really sad for him because he did a really a perfect job since the beginning. Mm. But this is motorsport. This is uh, the reality of the Dakar. This specific project means a lot more to me than any of the other stuff I do. I mean, I lost DTM races. It doesn't even come close to this feeling I have still in my body now. He was very, very disappointed. So we win together and we lose together. And the only thing I can do is uh, to guarantee the best possible support out of the team. Let's keep that spirit. Let's keep that passion. The more setbacks we got in the past, the better the operation got. And I'm convinced with that team, we're gonna win every challenge during the stages. This is a big team sport and I will be happy to help with, with what I can do. In stage 10, Carlos is still leading the race. He's leading the Rally Dakar in stage number six. Carlos is really a fighter. He never give up. The supportive character of Matthias and Stefan really shows the Audi spirit. Three punchers and, you know, Matthias Kang gave me the tires. Stefan waiting for me, he invited them, you know, when they lost all the chances, they, we were really working together. It was a great team effort from every point of view. We arrived in the area of the Dakar 2024 where we are kind of afraid of. The day 11 will be a long stage with a lot of rocks. It will be always risky. It's not time to relax, it's not time to, to, we need to keep pushing and that's what we are looking forward. This critical stage basically decided the race, but of course in racing, it's just over till it's over. Outstanding performance, Carlos Sainz, far ahead of the competition. As a driver, you, you, you live for, for your passion, you live for, for your dreams, you live for days like that. Carlos Sainz is up front. Can he win the Dakar Rally 2024? wins the Dakar Rally for Audi. Brilliant performance by him and Lucas Cruz. The first car of this kind ever to win this incredible event. He saw in the tears of the team that, um, that they finally got their reward for never giving up. And I think in this moment, it, it all fell off our shoulders. I cry a little bit. To winning uh, with the electric driven car uh, can be considered one of the most important milestones in the automotive industry. To make it until here is like dream come true. All the hard work we make, all the time we invest, all the nightmares we had, all the problems, all the issues. So at the end it's like you see the, the light at the end of the tunnel. I cannot describe it with words really, it's an amazing feeling. Hola, hombre. 
you will win this race, I tell you already. <laughs> I know it. To go for the big win here, you really need to have the dream team. If you don't have the dream team, you will never win here. Because there is not so much luck that you can be lucky for 12 to 14 days. The dream uh, has come through and, you know, winning with this car is so special. I'm so happy, so proud for the team, for every single mem member since the day number one of the project that it was so unbelievable to win with this concept of car for Audi first time in, in the history is great. When you work hard and you have good people around, they, sometimes the dreams can come true.